Hello. So in this video, we're going to go over importing items into Easy Office Inventory. Now, importing in the system works pretty much the same for all of your asset, asset stock, and inventory. In this video, we're going to talk about assets. So before you attempt your import, there are a few basic things that you should be aware of. First and foremost, an import can only contain up to 1,000 records in one go. So if you have, let's say, 10,000 to 15,000 items, you're going to make around 10 to 15 import attempts. You also need to make sure that your import file only has one sheet present in it, so you don't end up with a lot of errors at the end. For a more comprehensive list on what, how to go about configuring your import profile, I'd recommend going through our blog on how to, get just, how to set up your Excel import file. Now that you're on the listing page, just click on Import Assets. You'll see a bunch of options over here, such as adding new assets, updating existing assets, checking in or checking out assets. In this video, we're going to talk about adding new assets within the system. So we select this, and then after that, it's a pretty sim simple process. If you need to attempt the import, let's say a couple of times, the best way to go about doing that is to go ahead and make an import template. Import templates, skip the steps in the middle. They don't force uh, mapping columns over and over again. So you just make the template beforehand and just go ahead and map the entire file in one go. In this video, however, we're going to look at the manual import process without a template. So you select the file that you need, once the file has been selected, you just click on Upload and Proceed. So after this step, you'll see that now the system is asking me to go ahead and map these columns. You have to make sure that none of the columns inside this file are left unattended. So when I say left unattended, I basically mean that either you have to skip a column or you have to map it. For now, we're just going to go ahead and map as many columns as we can. But if at any point you feel like that in a list, in a file with let's say 20 to 15 columns, you only need to map three or four. So all you need to make sure over here is that if you have a file with 15 to 20 columns, you don't need to go ahead and skip or map, uh, skip these columns individually. You can just go ahead and skip them in mass at the end as well. Now I'm, for now, I'm just going to continue mapping these columns. So over here, you can see the system asks me to skip all unmapped columns. So depending on the size of your file, the time to upload it to Easy Office is going to vary. Just make sure that it doesn't have more than a thousand records and you will get the import in a very reasonable time frame. So over here, I get an, I get an overview of all of, the, all of the things that were successfully imported. Alongside, if I have any kind of failed rows, I'll also get to see them at the end. In this import, there aren't any failed rows, so we don't really see anything. You'll also see that during the import process, the system creates a few additional attributes such as any kind of new groups or locations. So you'll get an overview of them at the end of the page as well. If you think that all of the data on this page is good to go, you can just click on import at the end. When you click on import at the end, all of your import file is going to display over here with the filter for imported items. For more details on how to go about importing other modules in the, within the system, please visit our knowledge base and do make sure that you visit our blog or read our blog on how to set up your Excel file before attempting an import. If you still face any questions, just feel free to reach out to us at support at easyofficeinventory.com.